Okay friends, welcome to this course of building energy simulation using IES software. We have divided this course into approximately 10 modules. These modules are spread to give you a hands-on experience with real life case studies. In this session, I am taking you through what all this course will cover. Okay, so we will start first explaining about what is this software, what are its key features. Though there are many other softwares available, but the front end and it is very easy to use software. And because it is an easy to use software, it is paid software. It is not a free software. So, but it is giving you a lot of flexibilities as a designer. So we will explain you about the IES software first. What are its key features? If you want to set up the software in your computer, what are the typical requirement you have to have? So the session will be like how you, you can get started using IES VE software. Once you have done, the first step in doing energy simulation is constructing a physical model of the building. The way you do a 3D construction in a AutoCAD or a SketchUp, it is nothing different than what you do in IES also. Though few parameters and properties are different, few commands are different, but it is a same method to construct a building geometry in the software. So we'll take you with a raw case study. We will start with a, with a zero case and then we will construct step by step all walls, floor plans, multi-stories, the roof and all parameters, overhangs, the shadows and nearby you know, surroundings also can be created in the software itself. So we will explain you how to create the building geometry. And once you have created the building geometry, the next part is to assign the property of your building geometry. So how to assign the property of your wall because it will have the heat transfer properties like U value or the wall thickness, what type of materials you are using. Each material has its own property and you have to consider overall impact of various material like plaster, brickwork and again plaster. The roof the glass and any envelope element you have in the building. So this is the civil related properties we are talking, which are affecting the overall heat gains in the building. So assigning the property of all the materials of the envelope is equally important task. So once you have created the second part is assigning the building envelope properties. Once you have assigned the properties of the building envelope, you have to also assign the properties of other elements, which includes the HVAC systems, the MEP system, the lighting system, the occupancy, number of people, operating schedule, all these things are to be explained and assigned in real case studies by step by step method. So in our subsequent session, after we assign the properties of the building envelope, we will also assign the electromechanical parameters in the building. And once you have assigned these things, then you are ready to analyze the building performance analysis. You have created the building, the building's uh, envelope properties are assigned, building's MEP properties are assigned. Now you are good to go to run your simulation. So we will also explain you how to run the simulation in the building, what all the pre settings you have to do, how you have to start the simulation, and how you can compare different simulation results is also part of our course. And once you have done the simulation, how you can optimize your building design is the next part. So, you have to probably run simulation for each you know, uh, energy efficiency initiative or whatever material selection you are doing in your design, you can analyze that through your simulation results and compare them 
to find out what is the most optimal solution you want to propose to your client. So the optimization plays a very, very important role. So how to run the simulation and how to optimize the result is equally important. And friends, this IES software is also used for various applications. Most of us are the green building consultants and we do simulation for our lead Griha or IGBC applications. And we have to create a base case, you have to create a project case and for that purpose, you have to create a report which is meeting to the certification body standard. The good part of the IEA software is, especially if you are doing the lead certification of any project, the way lead requires the results for earning the energy performance optimization related credits, it creates the simulation result in the same fashion so that you need not to create a separate report. Certainly, it's a very good feature of this software and it is a very useful software. Then, because building's energy consumption is highly dictated by the HVAC system. So, HVAC system optimization also plays a very important role. There is a tool available in IES which is known as Apache HVAC. Okay, this tool you can do the various configuration of your HVAC system. Whether you want to run a system without cooling tower and having the air cooled towers, or you want to have the VRF systems, whatever is your HVAC configuration, you can construct that configuration in the IES software. And once you have done that you can analyze multiple configuration of your HVAC system. So the application goes beyond the simple lead certification to the optimization of your MEP systems. In fact, the IES software is also used for daylight simulation. Maybe one of the session we will also have is the how to do the daylight simulation in this software. So welcome to this world of energy simulation. Those guys who are having mastering on the building energy simulation, they are fast mover in this sector. You should command the knowledge on building energy simulation so that you understand the dynamics of building energy efficiency. If you want to be in the building energy efficiency sector, you have to have understanding how the buildings are consuming energy and by tweaking which parameters, how the building's overall energy performance will behave. It's a great course. I welcome you to go through all these sections. We have taken hands-on case studies, real buildings case studies we will share with you. And believe me, we will give you step-by-step -step guidance at each point so that you can construct the building, you can put your parameters of the building and finally you can run simulation confidently and you can iterate your simulation to optimize your design. So welcome to this course of building energy simulation using IES software. Thank you.